Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Casey, and this isn't my Jeep. Today I've got my friend over, his name is Mark, and we're going to be doing a Evo tire carrier installation on his Jeep. He just got this new carrier in, and I haven't installed one yet, so it's going to be our first experience with it. And I think it'll be a really interesting install. I think it's a really cool carrier, it holds up to a 40 inch tire, and it bolts onto where your existing hinges are, and onto your tailgate of your Jeep. And as always guys, if you enjoy my channel, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, turn on notifications. I truly appreciate every one of you that are checking out my channel. So we are just unboxing the Evo Tire Carrier. Looks pretty simple, not much to it. Let's pull her out of there, Mark. Pretty straightforward. So this thing is built to hold heavy tires. I've seen the guys at Evo running this with 40 inch tire jumping their Jeep. I believe this is the one they're running on Spicy Chicken if you're familiar with uh, Mel's builds. So we've got, uh, looks like quarter inch plated steel. It comes all powder coated. So it's gonna replace and reinforce the hinges and then it's going to bolt onto the back of the tailgate. It will swing open with the tailgate when you open it. So it will make your tailgate a little heavier if you're uh, unlike a body mounted carrier like I have on my Jeep, the Poison Spider. You open it individually from the actual tailgate itself. So you, it, you know, it's lighter basically. So let's see what else is in the box. stuff is pretty tough so we're not really worried about breaking anything dumping it out of the box too hard and I'm really glad to see that Evo is not shipping everything with a box full of peanuts that used to be a uh, yeah, pretty much everything I've ordered from Evo has come with a massive amount of peanuts in every box and I think I'm still finding peanuts in my garage from some of the other parts I've ordered over like a year and a half ago so let's take a look at what else is in here. Guys, I spoke a little too soon. We have peanuts. However, I think we can uh, manage and contain this to a small space in the garage, unlike a six foot box of peanuts that I'm used to. So we've got, these look like these will bolt on to reinforce the hinges and support the new tire carrier. So looking at the instructions, not sure what these guys are for, but we'll find out shortly. Uh, looks like we have uh, some hinge pins that are going to probably be hammered in to the, the uh, tire carrier here. And we have, we have the actual piece that your tire is going to bolt to. This is adjustable, so if you have different size tires, you can move it up and down on the back of the tire carrier to, you know, ideally you want your tire as low as you can, but depending on what bumper you're running, on here we've got a JCR bumper, which has a nice recess uh, piece of the bumper. So we wanna get the tire low, keep our visibility really good coming out the back of the window. Um, but with this adjustment, we'll be able to put that tire exactly where we want it. So we're finished unboxing the uh, hinge mounted tire carrier from Evo. Uh, we're just looking through the instructions now. It looks like Evo has switched to downloading instructions. So a thing to note, if you bought this carrier, make sure you go onto Evo's website. They have all of their parts um, of, uh, on their site and each one has a PDF that you can download for installations, um, installation instructions. I've had to do this with some of their other parts in the past, so we're just gonna go hop on my computer, we'll grab those, download them, and then we're gonna get this installation started. So guys, one thing I recommend whenever buying an Evo part is open up all of your accessory bags and go through them and count and make sure you have all the hardware. Evo likes to send you exactly to the nut the right amount of hardware. So before you get started, make sure you got all the right bolts, washers, and bits and pieces. They do include a little list of all the things you're supposed to have. So I've gone ahead, hopped on to evomfg.com. 
we've just opened up the installation instructions on my laptop. Apparently my printer's broken, so we're not gonna be able to print this out. And on here they have a list of all the pieces you should have. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're installing the bushings into the hinge uh, part of the tire carrier. We have um, a couple plastic end caps and we have a metal bushing that goes through here. So what we're gonna do is, this is similar to the Poison Spider tire carrier that I have on mine. It's basically we're gonna press these in here like that, pop one in the bottom. So now you can see we have one in the top, one in the bottom, and then we're gonna take this uh, probably steel sleeve and we're gonna push it through the middle of this plastic. So it may be a little bit tight. Um, on my Poison Spider, we actually end up using a C-clamp to do this, but this one seems to be not too bad and we're just gonna work that in probably with a mallet and just give it a little bit of a tap. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ever so, ever so lightly tap this in. Just, uh, as you can see, once we put this metal sleeve through, it's pushing the plastic bushings out. So, just gonna put it against the ground and slightly tap this into place. So, we just took a piece of wood, supported the plastic piece so it wouldn't pop out. And now that we're done, we've got the sleeve in the middle here and no gaps with the plastic um, outer pieces. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this process for the bottom and then we'll move on to the next step. Um, before you get started, obviously, you need to have removed your factory spare tire and the plastic frame that goes on here. It's just eight bolts that you take off and then you can take the plastic uh, factory mount off and you're gonna have to relocate your third brake light. So we're also gonna take these rubber stops off. They just pop out real easy. Okay guys, our next step is going to be bolting this, uh, this piece to the tire carrier here. This is the piece that the uh, you know gives you an adjustment for your actual tire mount so this piece goes on with four bolts and it bolts onto the frame now this is the part that you'll want to have at the height that you want so uh, a higher higher mounting this will allow for a larger tire and lower mounting this will allow you more visibility out of your rear window yeah, so just looking at this, guys, you may wanna rough this out ahead of time. When you bolt this onto your tailgate and you select the wrong location, uh, it's gonna require a little bit of effort to take it off of the tailgate as you can't access the bolts that this is going to connect with once this is bolted onto your tailgate. So we're gonna just do a little math and make sure we've got the right amount of clearance for our tire. Before you bolt the tire mount to the actual carrier, you wanna take a couple measurements to make sure that you've got it set at the right height because there's a bunch of different bolts here, um, bolt holes here that we can use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the bolt holes here on the tire carrier, which corresponds to the bolt here. And we're measuring this out so we know exactly how tall this is. And it's about, we're gonna say about nine and a quarter inches. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how much space we need to, on our tire from the center of one of our, of where one of our lug nuts are, to the bottom of the tire. So we've got about, it's about 20 and a half inches. So we're gonna go with 21 inches so we have a little extra clearance. So what we know now is that this bolt where it's going to be in the top of our rim 
needs to be about 21 inches from where our bumper is. So if we measure where this bolt is, which is, uh, I'm gonna go this way. So if we do a quick measurement and we put that at nine inches, which is how high that's gonna be off the bumper, we know going down our tape measure that this top bolt here needs to be at 21 inches. So we don't wanna screw this up. So we're gonna put it at 22 inches and we're running a 37 inch tire here on Mark's Jeep. So we now know that this frame underneath, we're gonna put this one bolt hole from the top. So we're gonna bolt this on before we bolt this carrier to the tailgate because once this is on the tailgate, we can't move it. So that's just a little bit of a quick math on how to figure out exactly where you need to put this bracket so that you've got enough clearance for your tire. If you're running 40s, you're gonna wanna do the same measurement and probably you're gonna have to move this up a little bit higher. Um, maybe you have a smaller bumper, um, like on my Jeep, my bumper doesn't come out as, at, at all. It has actually recessed, so I could probably mount my tire lower. But for this JCR bumper and a 37 inch tire, we're gonna mount it one down from the top. And that should give us about one inch of extra clearance on this. This step requires four of the 7 16 inch bolts. It also requires eight of the uh, eight of these washers and four of these nylon locking nuts. So just a little correction, guys. Uh, even though the Evo instructions say to use 11 16 uh, wrench and socket, we're actually using a 5 8 socket and a 5 8 wrench. I don't know if these are just older instructions and they've switched hardware, but these bolts that we got, um, these are 5 8 heads and 5 8 nuts. So before you get started, just so you know. All right, so we have this bracket bolted onto the tire carrier now. The next step is we're preparing the actual hinge brackets we have here. And Evo now seems to include these rubber bump stops. I've seen some guys on the forums using uh, bicycle brakes to put into here to prevent the hinge from coming open too far. It looks like uh, Evo has revised their design a little bit and now includes these rubber bump stops. So both of these hinge brackets seem to be the same size and have all the same bolts. However, one is gonna be on the top and one is gonna be on the bottom. So they're the same now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these bumpers in the top hole. So there's three holes on each of these. We're gonna put one of these bumpers in the top hole and this is now gonna be the bottom bracket. And we're gonna take one of these bumpers and we're gonna put it in the bottom hole. And now this is gonna be our top bracket when we go to install it on the Jeep. So it comes with, uh, there's, we've got these little screws that have a hex key. Uh, it looks like it is a three thirty second uh, hex key. And I'm just gonna wind these screws through the bumpers. And the bumper already has a little washer in it. And then now I'm gonna take it and install it into, so this is gonna be my bottom one, and I'm gonna install it into the top hole. And I'm gonna take one of these washers and put it over top of the bolt. And we have little nylon uh, locking nuts. And we're gonna just pop that guy under there. So I'm just gonna take a 11 32nd wrench and that is what is good for this nut here. And then I'm gonna take my hex key on the other side and maybe do the long end. And we're just gonna bolt this on. 
Ratcheting wrenches are awesome if you guys don't have them in your garage. I highly recommend picking up a set. They will definitely prove their weight in gold. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this bolted up and then do the next one. All right guys, there we go. We just hand tighten them. I don't think these need to be ultra tight. We just gave them a good snug bolt on there. And so now we have our top one. You can see it has the uh, bumper mounted on the lower position. And now this is gonna be our lower bracket with the bumper mounted in the top position. If you have a newer Jeep, uh, the next step is gonna be to remove the door catch. Um, Mark's Jeep here is a 2008. And so uh, on the inside of the door, we don't have any uh, door catch mechanism. We just have the old strap here with the wires running through it. So we're gonna skip this step and move on to the next one. All right guys, so the next step is to, and Mark's already jumped ahead of me, is you need to remove these eight bolts around the perimeter of your tailgate. Now, if you're just taking the plastic tailgate off right now, the um, the OEM holder, you've already got those bolts off. But if you were running without that already, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead, take all those bolts out and just put them aside because we're gonna need them here in a few minutes. And then on the hinges, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove these plastic covers. Uh, we don't have them on Mark's Jeep, so I can't show you how to remove them but it's really easy, you just pinch and grab them and give them a tug and they'll pop right off and then you'll have the outer piece here, same thing, just give it a little pinch, pop it off. Uh, if you want, use a little screwdriver and a rag to protect your paint, but you're gonna have to go ahead and remove the plastic hinge covers and then you're gonna have your bolts off as well. And now your tailgate is pretty much ready to move on to the next step of installing this uh, tire carrier. The next step here is going to be removing the bolts off of your hinges. Make sure your tailgate is closed firmly in place and leave it there. We don't want to have to do any adjustments later as well with the hinges off. Obviously, if you go to open this, this is gonna fall on the floor, so we don't want that. We're going to use a Torx um, T50 size bit and we are using a, what size do we have here? 13 mil. We've got a 13 mil socket for these bolts here. We're gonna go ahead and remove these bolts and that will give us access to these Torx bolts on the inside here. And uh, that's what we're gonna use this T50 for. So these bolts that just came off, we're gonna to wanna to set these aside. We're gonna need them later. We're gonna reuse those for this installation. And now with those bolts off, you can flip your hinge back and that gives you access to all of the Torx bolts in here. So that's gonna be our next step. We're gonna just pop these off. Um, we may need an extension to make this a little easier, but we're gonna use that T50 Torx bit and we're gonna pull these six bolts off real quick. So these bolts, uh, they're pretty tight. You just have to lean on them a little bit, give them some pressure to pop them off. Uh, if you've never had your hinge brackets off before, they're pretty snug. So don't be afraid to give them a little bit of extra oomph to get them off and then they'll come right off, no problem. So. Once we have these bolts off as well, we're gonna set them aside. We're gonna be reusing them on those brackets that we just set up with the bumpers on them. And those are much, much sturdier brackets. And they're going to be holding this giant uh, tire carrier in place, so. There we go. We now have the brackets off. I don't believe we're reusing these, but I'm just going to set them aside here for now and we're going to carry on with the install. If you're running a VHF radio or a CB, this carrier has a really nice little mount right here to mount your antenna 
and then there is a hole that goes into the back here um, for your antenna wire. Now what Mark and I are doing here today is we don't have the cables for his antenna yet but we've taken this vent piece out and we've just run a piece of wire into the tailgate and we've taken the black plastic piece off the inside and so that wire goes through to the inside and through an existing hole and we're gonna route this up to the antenna. Now this isn't the wire we're gonna use for his VHF radio later, but what it means is we can use this wire to fish his antenna wire through. Because once we get the tire carrier bolted onto the tailgate, uh, it's gonna be really challenging to fish a wire through and up to that antenna mount on the tire carrier. So if you're planning to put a CB or VHF radio antenna onto your Evo carrier, this is a good little um, way to make that installation a lot easier at a later date. This wire doesn't connect to anything. It's really just going to be a fish wire, but it allows us to have it there and ready for our future installation. The next step is going to be bolting on these way beefier Evo brackets. These are replacing the hinge brackets that we just took off. These are yeah, really, like way bigger. I think these are like quarter inch steel. Um, these are the ones that we put the rubber stoppers on. So this one has the rubber stopper on the bottom. That means this is the top hinge and this is gonna go right here. And we have the other one where we put the rubber stopper on the top. This is gonna be our bottom hinge and go right there. So we're gonna reuse these T50 Torx that we just took off. And these are just going to go into these recess holes. Sorry, the lighting isn't great right here. These are gonna go into the recess holes that are in here and bolt back on to where we had these stock brackets. And when we bolt these on, we're going to just lightly snug them into place. And we need to do that so that we have some adjustment for the tire carrier so that we can make sure we line it up with the bolts on the tailgate. And then once it's lined up, we can go ahead and snug these down. So let's get started bolting these up and then we'll be able to get the tire carrier on the Jeep. So we just got the top bracket on, just snugged it in place, but you can see there's some adjustment in it so that, you know, even this is about an eighth of an inch of, of movement, that makes a lot of adjustment for the tire carrier when we're bolting it onto the tailgate. So, and as you see, we have the stopper here on the lower part of this bracket that went onto the top. Okay, so the next step is going to be installing the actual uh, tire carrier onto the hinges we just installed onto the body. What we're gonna need for this step are the large bolts and the nuts that go with those and the uh, we need four washers. So we've got a washer that's gonna go on the top and a washer that's gonna go on the bottom. I'm just gonna slide this into place and with our washer already there, should just drop through. So we just uh, lightly used a wood mallet to tap these through and out the bottom. They're a little bit snug, probably just from some of the powder coating on the hole. You can see a little bit of it flaking off here. And then we're gonna go and put these nuts onto the bottom and just snug this up. Uh, we wanna just make sure we have enough room to be able to adjust the tire carrier, probably to be able to get these other bolts into place in a minute. So we're just going to snug this up. We're using a 13 16 wrench and a 7 8 inch wrench. Uh, you probably can't get a socket on here, so go grab the big wrenches. On the tailgate, the top side here is recessed and the bottom is recessed a little deeper. Evo gives you these shims 
and what they're going to do is go on the back of the carrier here um, and then you're going to thread the factory hinge bolts through the carrier using a uh, 13 mil socket with a extension and we're going to thread the bolts through the uh, single plate on the top and two plates on the bottom and then as we close the carrier we're going to start to thread the bolts into the tailgate we're going to start with the right hand side ones first because that'll allow the uh, tire carrier to draw into the tailgate and then we're going to thread the left side bolts. So getting these bolts through this, um, <laughs> through these brackets and these spacers is a little bit finicky certainly helps to have a second set of hands um, or maybe use some tape to hold these bolts down or a magnet of some sort um, because what's going to happen is as you close this hinge that now has spacers hanging on the back of it it's going to push these bolts out because they they have to get aligned to go straight into the um, into the tailgate so it's a bit of a finicky process be really careful if you drop one of these bolts into the tire carrier it's going to be a bit of a setback for you trying to get that out so uh, we were really careful and just took our time and uh, you know having both Mark and I here to uh, hold these bolts in place so they couldn't back out and then fall into the uh, tire carrier now that we have these uh, now that we have these hinge bolts put in place, we have the shims behind it. This is still not bolted down tight. We have it loose. Evo, this Evo carrier only uses six of the eight bolts that you had pulled off. These two are going to be a bit of a fun installation because it's quite deep. And so we're gonna have to uh, line up these bolts very carefully. But this is why we left all of these bolts loose because we're going to want to be able to adjust this up and down a little bit on the tailgate to get these bolt holes lined up perfectly and the bolts through them. finished bolting down and tightening the tailgate um, sorry tightening the tire carrier to the tailgate we're going to use our t50 Torx and just firm up these brackets here uh, it is really helpful if you have a extra long t50 we're using one on a socket um, it's barely fitting in so Something to note before you start installing this tire carrier that you may want to grab a extra long T50 Torx, um, Torx bit to be able to tighten down these brackets on the body. It will be a lot easier. You'll have a bit more room. So once we have the once we have the outside of those T50s tightened up on the um, hinge bracket, we're going to go to the inside here and open the tailgate as wide as we can and just tighten up the insides. Um, once we're done tightening up these, we're going to tighten down with the tailgate closed, we're gonna tighten down these hinge bolts and that should give us a nice alignment um, on our tire carrier and our tailgate. So we're just using a uh, CV joint on the end of our socket to be able to get our T50 Torx in there on those bolts. This is a really tight space, so it's always nice to have some of these CV joints um, for your socket set when you need to get into tight spaces. All right, we now, we've finished tightening up the Torx bits and we're just gonna give a final tighten to these hinge bolts now and get those nice and snug. Uh, the tire carrier and the tailgate is opening and closing really smoothly. 
And that pretty much finishes off the installation on the tailgate itself. The next step, we're going to bolt on the actual holder for the tire It's uh, that goes onto this bracket right here. So now that we have this all bolted to the body, we are going to finish up by mounting on the plate here that the tire attaches to. Now, this is a bit of a specific process because you want your tire snug enough to the body of your Jeep that you don't have any vibrations and rattles and that's also going to help reduce some of the stress that's on the tire carrier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bolt and loosely bolt them through the three of these uh, slide channels here. And then we're going to make sure this is adjusted in the right position for our tire. So we're gonna just quickly get these bolts on and carry on. We're gonna use these three 7 16 inch bolts and the washers and the lock nuts to bolt on the uh, frame for the tire to the tire carrier. So for this, we are going to need a 5 8 inch socket and we're gonna use a 5 8 inch wrench. That'll just give us a little bit more access to secure the nuts to the back of the bolt. And probably gonna need an extension on your socket here. Okay, so we just dropped, I'm just gonna drop these bolts with a washer on it through each one of these slide channels. There's three of them. And then we're gonna take a washer and a nut and just carefully get it onto the back. Um, as I said before, we're just gonna loosely put this on. And then we're going to put our tire onto the carrier so that we can figure out exactly where this needs to be because it slides in and out. on but you can see we have this loose and so what we're going to do is put the tire on here and then we're going to push this up against so the tire will uh, be firm against the carrier and then what we're going to do is mark a little line on here so that we know exactly how tight this needs to be then we'll pull the, the tire off and we'll push it in just a little bit more maybe like a sixteenth of an inch and then we're going to tighten these down and then that way when we put our tire on and we put our lug nuts on, it's going to push and hold the tire nice and firm against the carrier so that it's not wobbling around on this bracket. So Mark hasn't installed his new wheels yet. And so what's happening here is that with the factory wheel, which there is actually not enough clearance to put this on the tire carrier, even though the bracket is out as far as you can go. And you can see that we can't, um, we can't get the bracket far enough out. So if you have factory wheels, you're gonna need a wheel spacer if you wanna use this tire carrier but Mark has a really nice set of KMC machetes with some more backspacing, which is going to bring this in closer to where this tire carrier is. So just something for you guys to note, if you are buying this, you are gonna need a wheel spacer if you're using your OEM rims with the factory backspacing, which I think is five and a quarter inches. And uh, the machetes I believe are four and a quarter inches. So you're gonna get an extra inch, which is going to allow you to mount this onto this tire carrier. So if we were able to get a measurement for that, what we would have done when we had that tire mounted here is I'd just take a little uh, grease pen and just write a little line, sneaking your hand in behind the tire, put a little line on this. Then you're gonna take the tire off, you're gonna see where that line is, and you're gonna adjust it exactly where you want it. 
tighten these down nice and snug and then you're pretty much finished installing the tire carrier um, throw your spare tire onto it bolt it down with some lug nuts and you're good to go but once again just remember when you are adjusting this you're going to want your tire nice and snug to the actual tire carrier so that when your lug nuts are bolted onto the wheel it holds it nice and tight against this so that this isn't the only point holding your tire this will reduce um, your tire from wobbling and bouncing around as much as possible so that pretty much finishes up the installation of the evo hinge mounted tire carrier so so guys we didn't install these brackets that came with the kit these are going to be for a later model i'm not sure what you're installing on but um, mark's here is a 2008 um, these are some new brackets for the inside if you remove that door catch here um, you're going to need those brackets and those bolts from Evo to reinstall that into this. So I can't show you guys how to install that because we obviously don't have it on this Jeep. But it's just a small little process after you're complete and it is um, detailed in the Evo instructions. So here we are with the finished installation. It's a really nice tire care. I wish I could show you guys with the tire on here but it pretty much just looks like a factory spare tire. Um, just making sure that when you do install this you're installing it at the right height so that you have enough clearance for your tire and it doesn't hit the bumper underneath and then using that process to also make sure that you have this installed at the right distance so your tire is snug against the tire carrier that's something that evo warns about and you don't want this out too far with your tire uh, not touching anything and basically bouncing around on this tire carrier and not supported and snug against the actual tailgate itself. So the factory rims obviously wouldn't work on there unless you put a spacer, but check these out. This is what Mark's picked up for his Jeep. These are super popular, uh, made by KMC. These are machetes uh, for the JK with uh, four and a quarter inch backspacing, I believe. Um, but these are really nice, full B-lock, machined outer lip. Uh, we're gonna do an install video on how to install B-locks here in a couple weeks. Um, just a couple quick features that are really nice that I like about these machetes is they have drain holes for water um, Something my trail ready bead locks don't have and they tend to collect a lot of water up in this space here really nice um, wheels and uh, These have a lot of benefit for off-roading being able to air down super low and get some extra traction not put as much abuse on your Jeep and uh, You know just absorb some of the bumps and and whatnot when you're out off-roading all right guys, thanks so much for watching this week's video. As always, I hope you found it helpful and informative. Uh, it was a lot of fun installing this tire carrier on Mark's Jeep. If you enjoyed this week's upload, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I appreciate all your support. Next week we're going off-roading, so we're gonna do a vlog style video and we're gonna be out on the trail finally. Uh, the fire seemed to have cleared up around here on the island and we're gonna be able to get out onto the trails and do some off-roading. So we're gonna get the Jeep looking dirty again. All right, otherwise I will see you guys next week. Uploads every Monday. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.